Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. I hope you've all had a great weekend. Today I'm just going to do a very short and sweet video. I think this would be my third video today. I'm really going to be telling you guys what you need to look out for, um, some kind of indicators that are really going to dictate the direction that the crypto space is going to go in the coming week. Um, so we're going to be jumping into that. The market right now is already in fear. Not yet extreme fear, but that is absolutely coming. You are going to see extreme fear, I reckon, um, depending on what happens tomorrow. Now, Bitcoin is in this kind of lull area. You guys know that we've got this kind of ascending triangle drawn that it's actually found support on. Doesn't mean you can't roll um, again and come down to sort of the golden ratio or something like that. But you've done the same thing back here and you did find support around about these levels. So that's a somewhat positive sign. But really, the whole reason for, for the crypto sell-off, um, which we've covered in greater detail, was the kind of macroeconomic landscape and the fears of this new variant. Um, so what you guys need to watch out for that's going to determine the direction that the cryptocurrency market takes within the coming week is things like the FTSE 100, um, and your oil, uh, oil and the FTSE, I think, saw the worst daily candle since um, March 2020, when, of course, we had a pretty epic crash. So there's definitely something that spooked markets. Well, we know what it is. It's the, it's the new variant. There's some um, different reports coming out about that. Some people saying it's not as bad and some people, you know, but we'll see how that, you know, we're not going to get into that debate. Uh, but these this, these two in particular are what I'll be watching, certainly because I live in the UK. Now, when these markets open tomorrow, remember the stock market doesn't trade on a weekend. If you see these start to roll, it's a good indication, of course, the S&P as well. Um, the S&P showed a little bit of strength during this and then kind of sold off. If you start to see these rolling and you start to see the dollar gain strength, it's a good indication that crypto is going to sell off as well. So something to bear in mind. It's really what you guys need to pay attention to. You can't just be in the crypto space anymore. We are a matured market. We're not as mature as we're going to be and anywhere near the kind of adoption that we're yet to see. But what, what I mean by matured is we're playing a different game than what perhaps we previously were. We covered that in a video, two videos ago that we put out today, the first one we put out today where we looked at the Bitcoin four-year cycle theory and how there's different factors at play that are going to alter this. But one thing that is going to, of course, um, stay concurrent is the fact that Bitcoin halves its supply every year. Uh, and this, of course, is going to have an effect on the price. So we are going to see some sort of a, um, a continuation of this four-year cycle theory, but it's going to look different due to the, the, the macroeconomic factors. Due to us having the same actors involved with the crypto space now that we have in the traditional financial world, um, such as I think it was Goldman Sachs own a lot of, uh, I can't remember the exact figure, a million plus of, of, of Grayscale's BTC. Um, so something to watch out for tomorrow. We look good right now. We look like we found a little bit of support. If we do decide to roll, um, this is going to be a good sort of forewarning, and that's if we don't sell off overnight. The markets are looking a little bit weak at the moment. Um, ultimately, let me just reiterate this message to each and every one of you. I'm not worried in the slightest. I believe in cryptocurrencies, and I think we've been here a million and one times before. Um, and for me, this is something I'm going to huddle through and accumulate where possible. Now, what you guys decide to do is entirely up to yourselves, um, but that's just what I'm personally doing. So just to reiterate and recap, Go and watch um, the FTSE 100 or the S&P if you're in uh, the US. Um, there's a number of others. I just like crude oil. I like WTI's crude oil. I like to watch the FTSE because obviously I'm, I, I'm, um, I know a lot of people that have invested in the FTSE. FTSE got hit particularly hard due to the, some of the, the stocks that it's made up of um, and then having quite a lot to do with travel and ledger. Um, whereas the S&P's sort of held, shown strength in, re in relation to that due to it being, you know, there's a lot of technology stocks and stuff like that in there. So as investors as well, one, one reason I'm making this video is you need to, you need to really look at everything now um, and, and, and acquire it. And if you start to see that dollar strength, it wasn't me that spotted this, it was somebody else. You know, you could be in a potential macro head and shoulders. Wow, look at that neckline. You could be in a macro head and shoulders for the dollar, um, which is a kind of trend reversal sign and, and continuation to the downside. This is, of course, the inverted chart. This is the right way up. So we'll see what happens. If you start, to, like I say, main, thing, main takeaway, if you start to see that strength in the dollar, um, and weakness in these expect crypto to continue rolling. Um, however, the flip side could be to that, and you could see these gain strength, um, and ultimately, you know, crypto would would follow suit in that direction as well. So, so it's alternative markets that are now going to drag and throw around crypto a little bit, um, and certainly in a kind of low volume time that we're in, this will change. You know, crypto is going to see strength when others don't, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But certainly, right now, um, everything's kind of 
put under one dome. Um, so I'm going to love and leave you on that note. Enjoy the rest of your Sundays. I hope you found this video entertaining, useful, informative. Remember, we do have the All In Crypto Stake Pool. The ticker is All In. You can stake to us via Deadly or Yoroi. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, like us, always appreciate it. So as a comment, and I'll catch you in the next one.